If you're an OG watcher, you already know this joke. Where I get a note home from the teacher. The day I wish to excel, Jilly. It is, sweetheart. He's been disruptive in class. I and I'm gonna edit. I'm excited. Using his phone in class. Well, he's in the doghouse, if you know what I mean. Good morning, everyone. So it's um, it's holiday hat day at school, which really just means wear your Santa hat. Um, <laughs> So that's exactly what I'm doing. I got a haircut yesterday. Yay! So, Yay! That's fun. Um, Ta -da! Much more clean. But no one's going to get to see it today, unfortunately. Right. You're going to keep it sealed, under seal for one more day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So Katie and I are running home tomorrow, and then we go to New York uh, on Friday, which I can't wait for. So um, <laughs> that is what we're looking forward to on the docket. We have a block schedule day at school, which means that this school doesn't do block scheduling. My school doesn't do block scheduling. Uh, I did in Maryland, but because of like freshman testing or something, this like this week we're doing block scheduling. So we have like four classes a day. And it should go uh, very long. Anyway. Instead of his normal eight classes a day, normally he has seven. every seven, every class every day. The block scheduling divides it up, and they have half the classes one day for longer periods, and half the classes the other day for longer periods. So that's just exactly. through the rest of the week. So wait, why are why is like yesterday was jammy? Wait, was it yesterday was jammy day at school? Pajama day. Yeah. Pajama day was yesterday at school. Today's hat day. Why this week? Like, why not next week? Because you have two more weeks of school, right? Yeah. So is there other things the next two weeks? I don't think so. Maybe it's like bring cookies to your teacher day or that kind of thing? Yeah, <laughs> if I were at school, I'd make some questionable for your days. Who like? Bring, like if I'm the principal, bring treats to your principal day. I, th I think that's oh, totally that, legit. Yeah, right? Any tests today? No. No. No, this is kind of an easier week. It's kind of just a, like a catch up weeks so I'm just doing a lot of work you know. Okay. So Ryan is doing fantastic in all of his classes. He has um, one class that he is not doing that fantastic. I was about to say I scared. But yeah. like yeah, so I just have to yeah, that's just, just not gonna watch this, but the teacher is Okay, but you know what? <sighs> She's a piece of work. <laughs> okay. Sorry, yeah. Well I will say this about that is Ryan, and it'll be point counterpoint, so I'll speak and then you can rebut. And then I'll speak and then you can rebut. Or you can speak and I can rebut, okay? So, Ryan is in this class, this marketing class, and inevitably once once a week, if not more, I get a note home from the teacher that Ryan has, he's been using his phone in class, he's been disruptive in class, I write her back and forth, and I said, can you please describe disruptive so I know how to address it with Ryan. He has friends that are on the other side of the classroom. So while I'm instructing, he's communicating and talking to the kids on the other side of the classroom and it's very disruptive. Ryan, counterpoint. Okay. Um, I'm not the one getting the emails, but I can assure you it's not more, it's not once a week. Okay, you might be right, I might be exaggerating. Exactly. Once, once every they... two weeks, once every two weeks. Which is still too uh, many. And then, okay, so what she's referring to is Ethan. Ethan's in your class? Ethan's in the class. Oh, so, oh. Which, but other side of the classroom is such an exaggeration. He's, he, it's not at the same table. It's like we sit at tables that have computers at them. And he's like three seats away. Okay, so let me ask you this. When you communicate with Ethan, does he communicate back to you? No, I don't mean to throw one on the bus here, but he is always the one that starts the conversation. Okay, so time out. Do you think that he's getting the same emails? Yes. He is? No, he is. Yeah. Okay. Did he tell you that? <laughs> yes. Is he also getting the same grade that you're getting in? I don't know. Uh, Does he turn his stuff in? Well, he's not doing the same thing as me. So here's, here's the thing that, that messed me up in this class. So... It's an elective class, which really doesn't mean anything. It like, does, though. You still get a grade in it. You still get a grade so in it. It's so dumb. And one of my other elective classes... Marketing. You'll never use marketing in your whole life. No, but it's... it's. But the thing is, one of my other elective classes uses, like, the same website that we were using. 
So I was doing the same exact lesson. So she gave me a whole different thing. And where you just read the super long, it's super boring work. It's just long and boring. And then I'll finish something and then I'll have like five, 10 minutes left in the class. I'm like, I'm not about to start to read a whole nother. It's like 17 pages of just a topic that you have to research. And then it tracks like the time that you've read it for. And then you have to take a whole quiz on it. So like five or 10 minutes left, I'll just be like, I gotta check my flash plan. Oh, and, I see. And then she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, she's "Like, stop." Anyway, and then e and then Ev will just say something stupid, and then you'll start laughing. And then it's always hilarious. And then you disrupt the class. And then I get an email. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> it's so it's, it's not a good cycle. It's I'm not liking so it. Funny though. I wish, I wish I didn't get an email. And see, in Maryland, the classes were such that you'd have like a certain set of classes first semester, and then a different set of classes second semester. Specifically, <laughs> your electives would change second semester. They're not changing here, are they? I think you have that same exact one all year long. Yeah. So you're gonna have to learn to play nicely with your teacher. Should I butter her up? Uh, maybe, and maybe, you know, pay attention to class and do your thing. See, this is the thing. I think she, if, if you just can't not talk to Ethan or you just can't not do whatever, at least be friends with the teacher. And then they're yeah. willing to give you a little yeah. extra, you know, like, because I think what you're creating an adversarial relationship with your teacher and you don't want right. to do that. One last thing is, <laughs> oh, he's doing this during instruction. Well, you're instructing the kids on what they're doing. I'm not even doing the same lesson. You assigned me a whole different thing. But you so, can't interrupt her instruction. It's not, I'm not interrupting her. No, no, no. That's like me being on my phone during her instruction. I'm like, dog. Okay, well, I will say this. I'm making light of it sitting here, but it is serious. Regardless of all the conversation we're having, if your report card comes back and it has a, a letter grade that is the first word of the word flower, or a letter grade this is the first letter of the word Duncan. Duncan, you're in a lot of trouble. I'm I really don't even want it to have the first letter of the word cute. How about being to the What? How about <laughs> it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Right, Mike? Another day in which to excel, Chili. It is, sweetheart. So, to switch it up a little bit, shake it up a little, add some fun zest to our day, we've decided instead of working at home, we're gonna jump on our bikes and ride, not to the closest Starbucks, but the second closest Starbucks. So it's about three miles on our bikes. I like this idea of building exercise. And yes, yes. Efficient. It is efficient, absolutely. Normally I would do my walk in the morning, but instead we're just gonna ride our bikes. So, uh, oh yeah, I think you're right. Also working in a different location, right? Yes. Sorry if you guys can hear the wind there. But I have my basket on my bike. So Mike's computer's in there, my computer's in there, uh, my notebooks, all that stuff. So we're going to give this a try and see how it works out. Open up a regional office. Yes, our re <laughs> exactly. Our regional office is just down the street. <laughs> so it's beautiful and um, this is another perk of, I think, living in Florida. Starbucks. Mike, that wasn't bad. It was actually beautiful. I don't mean to say actually. <laughs> Good bike. Good bike. That was a beautiful ride. Uh, it was uh, 10, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Easy peasy. All right, stay there, guys. We'll be right back. All right, this is all set up. My computer, <laughs> I got my computer, I got myself a, what's it called, a bacon gouda sandwich, and a grande decaf with cream, and I'm going to edit. I'm excited. Ryan, Ryan has been diligently doing his homework in here. Ever since he came home from school, we're heading towards the end of the semester. Yeah. So I, I took my medicine when I got home. So I take medicine in the morning so I can focus at school. I took medicine when I got home. Um, 
and it's great because it helps me focus, but it, it totally kills um, my mood. Not in like a depressing way, just in a very monotone way. So I'm not really the same like Ryan that you see on screen, um, but it really does help me get to work. So I sacrificed a little bit of that. Uh, I've been sitting in my room like since I've got home, uh, but that's just so uh, I can hang out with Katie and Brennan because they're coming home tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait for that. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. So I've been um, just grinding on my schoolwork, really. I have a big anatomy test tomorrow, and then on Friday Ooh. I have a math test. Okay. So, Are you ready for your anatomy? Mm-hmm. Yes? Do you need me to help you study it all? Not really. The oh, phone's yeah. connected to the ankle bone, and the yeah, is that not I, it? Ever since I said I took anatomy, you guys have started singing that song. And I know, like, school in the 1800s, like, <laughs> sang songs like that. I'm kidding. But I know you guys like sung songs to remember that stuff, but it's, it's like not way more complicated now. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, we have like this big screen uh, in our anatomy classroom. I forget what it's called, but it's like some super expensive tool. Whiteboard? No, 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 no. Like, oh. Way more like a. Like, oh, like, cool. Stuff you'd see in like hospitals. It's like this big screen. Yeah. It's like this big, and it's like a person on it, and you can choose like skeletal muscle and tegumentary and like look at all the systems and tap on it and stuff. That's so cool. Are you allowed to tap on it or just the teacher? No, we're allowed to. Like, we did, we did like, stations of notes, and you do a different thing at, like, each, you know, you go around the tables. And um, one of them was to touch that thing. So, um... That's so cool. Yeah, we, we've come a long way since... Since the, the, the song? Uh, about, <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Katie's taking anatomy as well, isn't she, in um, college right now? Um, I, maybe. I'm I think sure. she's also taking anatomy, yes. So you guys should compare notes. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, so we just got this desk, and we just got this chair. We just got a lot of stuff in this room. And Oh, and we got the blue, you guys. We got the blue cover, which yeah. I'm so excited about. Do you like the blue cover? I love it. Matches the pillows. Really soft. Yeah. Good for the room. Um, yes. But this Happy chair, we got it from Facebook Marketplace, which is usually a great place to get stuff. But this is the downside of it. Every so once in a while. It's a used chair, obviously, because it's on Facebook Marketplace. And it's supposed to be like this. This is a pretty good, you know, backrest height for a chair. But that is how it sits normally. And when you sit down in it and you, like, lean back, you literally, like, tip over. <laughs> like, I was sitting like this for a little bit, just kind of, like, thinking. And then I just started to tip. Oh, so shoot. You put this I'm sorry. Here. So, what's up, Edward? So, you know, I'd be more facing upright, but still, if you try to lean back, it's still... All right, so we're going to see if Dad can fix it. If Dad can't yeah. fix it, we will get you another chair. Yeah. Probably from Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> um, also, I have my desk chair out there you can use for now if you want to. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing... Sorry. I'm, Go ahead. Of, Bring it on. Another thing my medicine does is it suppresses my appetite. So that's why I don't eat lunch at school. Not that you guys would know that, but... Um, I was doing lunch at school, I just eat breakfast and eat when I get home. And then, you know, for the rest of the day I'm fine, but when I take my medicine after school, I eat a big meal, and then, like, I might have something before I go to bed. So, I have some pasta, um, which I'll probably nibble on, but... Yeah, so, okay. so your medicine, I don't know that we've talked about it so much on camera, but your medicine is for ADHD, and you guys can comment down below if you want to. If you guys have similar experiences as Ryan. Katie does too. Katie does too. Yeah, I know she's talked about it mostly like on TikTok and Instagram. And people have commented in that they have the same, t take the same medicine or, mm -hmm. or, or they have ADHD but they take a different medicine, whatever. So, um. Yeah, we went through a lot of medicines. To um, find the right one. Yeah. And I still don't know if this is the right one. Because it's a weird side effect. I know I've told you this. This might be TMI. I don't really care though. Okay. Um. Oh, like get really sweaty, oh. and that never used to happen in Maryland just because the temperatures were never really that bad. It's December; it's still 80s here, so <laughs> I'll go to school, and I'm just like, and our school is outside. Uh -huh. It's not like it's, yeah. You know, anyway, so I'll, I'll be outside, and I'll just just be like sweating, mm -hmm. and um, that looky stinks. So this is the deal. We can, you know, you go back to the doctor every six months. So yeah. next time we go, let's. Tell, I mean, that's why you have a checkup, right? So they can say, mm -hmm. hey, this is, 
this is you can say this is what's happening and then they can say okay well let's let's monitor that or switch it up or something because you want it yeah. to you don't and as you grow and develop you know you've been on that one for well, a couple of years now right so as you grow and develop you know your body reacts differently to the different medicines yeah. so we can see if there's another one or if it's still something that you um mm -hmm. need and that kind of thing so anyway yeah. um i'm gonna finish up i have some anatomy okay um to do to get ready for my tests we're working on the uh, muscular system if any of you were wondering Great system, definitely top three. Um, <laughs> top three systems, top, top three, three systems. anatomy systems. Yeah. What would you say are the other two? I got skeletal and endocrine up there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. That's just me. Couple right. of your top three systems, we all have them. <laughs> so, I'd love to hear. Uh, yeah, comment, agree or disagree if you like my top three. Anyway. <laughs> um, Do you have any um, anatomy jokes for us? No. You had a great snowman joke the other day. I, snowman joke. I okay. used to be like the king of jokes now. I, just can't think I of have that. one. Ready? I wouldn't necessarily, it's kind of anatomy. It's kind of anatomy. All right, so ready? Where is my favorite joke? You might, if, you've been, if you're an OG watcher, you already know this joke. Where do generals uh, keep their armies? And their sleeveys. Of course they do! In their sleeveys! Everybody... Don't, don't explain it. Just, just let them... You'll get it eventually. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a great joke. Thank oh, you. Yeah. It's really the only one I can remember. There you go. Yeah. Well, hey. It's a good one. Look, at, I love how Eddie just walks in. He just wants to be near you. And he doesn't want to look at you. No. Ever. He just wants to be by you. And he doesn't... He's like, I'm here, but I don't want anybody to know that I'm actually here. Because exactly. I'm... Like, because I want to be near you. I'm going to look away. So nobody yeah. thinks I'm actually paying attention. I was attention. sitting over there, and he just comes up. And he's chilling. He just lays down and faces like the other way, and just starts like giving himself a bath. Right. And then, like, I got up, and he just looks at me, and I'm like, "Dude, what?" <laughs> and so he goes back to his business, and I like walked over here, and within like three seconds, he like, came around and just sat right there. But yeah. Well, he's in the doghouse, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's in trouble. Want to tell what happened? Oh, they don't know. No. Okay, so uh, we have a tree skirt for our Christmas tree, like the thing that goes around the bottom. Edward just decided he was going to pee on it today. Just, just decided. He just, just out of the blue. And Mike and I happened to be sitting there. I was like, what? That is no not way. normal behavior. Saw, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's... Let's so, not talk about it with Dad. It makes so him upset. Like a, so no, no touching, no pets? No, you can't. Oh, no, no, no. He's, I mean, it's... It, it was earlier today, so he will not associate those two things together. So, yes, you may pet him and give him love. I've been giving him love all day long. But he knows, like, when it happened, I was like, I chased wow, him out. that's hilarious. Um, yeah, but we washed it, and now I just need to um, spray the carpet just to make sure he doesn't, like, have any remnants of smell on it so he does it again. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So we're going to wait on putting the Christmas tree skirt down. All right, you guys, you can comment below, too, if you've ever had any issues with that. Um, that is something very new for our little guy, Eddie, so I hope he's not traumatized. Like, I, I don't know what causes that, but I'll be looking into that, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I might share what made me happy today, though, because I think I'm going to, um, ramp down, and I know that Ryan's going to be doing some work. So what made me happy today was my bike ride with Michael to Starbucks. It was awesome. We had such a great ride. And the weather was beautiful, and we did some work there. It was nice to sort of shake it up a little bit and do something a little bit different. So uh -oh. I loved it. Uh oh, what made uh -oh. you happy today? They're officially getting old. Oh no! Oh, no, I knew like I, all the signs were coming out. Cats moving to Florida. Oh come on! Bike rides now. Ooh, that's, oh, mom, I love you. Um, uh, no, what made me happy today uh, was the feeling of getting stuff done, because that's great. And I know it's not as entertaining on camera when we're not doing fun stuff, but these this is real life. These are the days you have to have, um, and this is one of those days, And but it does ultimately feel good. Mm -hmm. So uh, stay tuned, do watch the next vlog, because Brendan and Katie will be back, and I can't wait. Uh, we got some great stuff coming up for you. So, a couple of me and you guys happy today. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you then. 
Michael John, what made you happy today? Well, thank you for asking. I enjoyed our bike ride today. <gasps> That's, we said the same answer. Really? We always say that if we were on the Newlywood game, that we would totally win. Because I know your answers, you know my answers. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's awesome. I enjoyed it too. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yes. We'll do that again. It's nice to get out and do different things. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. It helps you to excel each and every day. Mm. Boom. There, he fits it in. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned. Tomorrow's going to be a good one, too. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and Love That Family merchandise, visit lovethatfam.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.